something very special for the next three weeks. We're taking a break from our usual series. We just studied Jonah. And um, we're going to study a, a mini-series called Awaken. Everybody say Awaken. Awaken. We're going to talk about the power of the Holy Spirit. Because, you know, this is a beautiful time. When we are celebrating the, the coming of the Holy Spirit, Pentecost Sunday. And the title of our talk today is so good. And I do hope and pray that the Holy Spirit will use this message to convict you, to change you, and to bless you. The title of our message today is this, Reject the Sin. Reject the Sin. Can you tap the person beside you and say, friend, reject the sin. Reject the sin. We are celebrating, like I said, one of the most significant points of... Uh, an event that happened in the Christian's life, and we're talking about the coming of the Holy Spirit. You know, 2,000 years ago, the Holy Spirit came, but if you are a Jesus follower, how many Jesus followers are there here? Jesus followers? You know that this event was not just a random event that happened to you know, a bunch of people back then, but it's an event that's still happening today. And it's an event that will continue to happen for years and years to come until the end of our, day, our, our days. Can I ask you this question? How many of you want to live an abundant life. Raise your hand. An extraordinary life. Come on. Because I need you to know this. That there's more to life than just working on a 9 to 5 job. There's more to life than just waiting for that next big paycheck. There's more to life than just waiting for that next, next breakthrough or that next milestone. God wants you to live life and not just life, but life to the full. But how are we going to do that? Ask me how. How? You need to stop sleeping through life. That's right. Some of us are sleeping through life and we're going through, through life as though we're, we're alive, but we're not really fully alive. Like, you know, you, you, you do certain things, but there's no purpose, there's no significance. I don't know if you understand what I'm, I'm saying, but God wants to wake you up. That's what he wants to do. Can you shout this to somebody right next to you? I want you to shout this in front of their face and say, Wake up! Wake up! Wake up, baby. God wants to wake you up from your slumber. He wants to wake you up to his presence. How many of you believe that God is working in your life? If you live through life sleeping, you're never going to know that the Holy Spirit is actually moving in your life and God wants you don't know that he wants to work in your life. We're going to take a page from the book of Acts where in the apostles have recently received the gift of the Holy Spirit. And this is amazing. Peter was talking to the disciples. And then, let's read. Let's put it on screen. It says in verse, uh, in chapter 2 of Acts, if you have your physical Bible, by the way. Oh, sorry. We never prayed. Yeah. I forgot. Let's say our Nabita the God stuff. <laughs> This is the problem when you're doing solo flight. Okay, I'm usually used to another preacher coming in. Let's say our favorite prayer, shall we first? Before we read the word of God. Everybody, let's come in the presence of the Lord as we come in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Everybody raise your hand up. Come on. Say this with me. Today I receive all of God's love for me. Today I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's spirit. Today I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today I proclaim that I'm God's beloved, I am God's servant, and I'm God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world in Jesus' name. Amen. Everybody, can I ask you to lift up a hand? If you are online, please stand up. Sins. Tell your neighbor right now, repent of your sins. Repent of your sins. That's 
right. And then turn to God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. And then Jesus says, Peter says, this promise is to you, to your children, and to those who are far away. All who have been called by the Lord our God. Then Peter continued preaching for a long time, strongly urging all his listeners, save yourselves from this crooked generation. Can I ask a favor from you? Can I ask you to preach our big message to the person or the people next to you? Because I can't reach everybody here. I want you to turn to as many people as you can. And here's a message. Tell them, turn to Jesus. Turn to Jesus. Turn to Jesus. Turn to Jesus. Amen. That's our message for today. And I pray that this is going to bless you. Can I? Let's pray. Bow down your heads. Close your eyes. Thank you, Father, for this message. Thank you for your word. We pray that it would come alive in the moments that we're still here, listening and breathing and seeking your wisdom. We pray that there would be a resurgence of wisdom that would be so practical that would be so powerful, but above all, it would be so personal so that we know that it's me that you're speaking to. Thank you, Jesus. We give you the glory in advance because we know that you are going to bless me and you are going to change me today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Thy word is a lamp unto Touch your neighbor and say, God is going to speak to you today.